Hey folks, this is Adam from 911reviews.com. We have a fun one for you today. This comes to us um, from a kind of a facial cleaning company, uh, Y-O-U-A-N-P-U-R. You unper? Not sure, um, but they're a black head removal mask. So we're gonna put it on. They asked me to try this in my T-zone, so I assume this is where we want it to be. So we're gonna go ahead and do this. They said not the entire face. Um, now, in my experience with blackhead masks and things of the sort, um, they are best when you let them dry completely, obviously, and they also are best if you don't overclean your face beforehand. You want a little bit of oils and stuff on there, um, just to make sure that they aren't too harsh when you peel them off. And also, I'm trying to make sure I don't catch my hair in here, I don't have that much hair left, people. Um, you want to put it on thick enough and make sure it dries. So again, my tips, um, actually have your skin warm and your pores open before you do it. I went outside, watered the plants, um, got my skin nice and oily and warm. Then, I mean, you don't want to have a dirty face, but you're going to want, um, you know, like a stray hair here. Oh, there we go. Um, you're not going to want to touch any of your actual hair. So I'm going to just be careful not to get my eyebrows. I've done that before. My trouble area is always my nose. So I'm going to get this on here. I really feel a hair. I don't know if you can see it on camera. Oh. Uh-oh. Don't want to lose eyebrows here, people. There we go. I think I got it. Um... My trouble area is the tip and bridge of my nose. So we're gonna do it in, these are my areas that I wanna get for sure. You're never gonna to wanna to apply to kind of like loose or damaged skin. And the a big thing is you're going to want it to dry in its entirety. Now, um, I'm gonna focus on my forehead here. I don't really worry about this spot too much or down here. So these are the areas that I'm particularly focused on. Should I extend this a little bit out maybe? But then we're going to give it plenty of time to dry. All right, there we go, folks. Um, I have a solid 30 minutes to 45 minutes. You can never wait too long. So many of my friends, I've done these with my friends before. They want to take it off too early. They got places to go, places to be. And they don't wait till it's completely dry. And it's just a mess and it doesn't do its effect. So give it time. You don't want super clean skin. Because again, that... Um, if it's too dry, you're not going to get anything out, and it's going to hurt to pull off. And you're going to want fairly warm skin if you can, like a warm compress just before you use it, just to open up your pores, because those open pores, you'll be able to suck more out of it. If it's a closed pore, you're not going to be able to get that sebaceous material, that oil and whatever, and the sweat that's inside there. All right, so I did just a little bit of my, um, my forehead, got my nose, those are my danger zones, everyone's got their own. Do where you, some people get under here, some people get over here. Everyone's got their own areas. Mine definitely is my nose. All right, folks, we'll come back in 30 minutes. All right, folks, I've waited the full 30 minutes. I've decided to turn off the close-up light to get, um, I think it was washing it out a little bit. I want to get as detailed as possible here. And we're gonna see what we can do. Um, admittedly, I should be using a mirror instead of my camera to do this. And it is peeling. All right, let's see if we can get here. Let's see how close we can get on this. You see that? Let's see if I can focus on that. got to kind of find a spot to peel from and work from there. I think 30 to 45 minutes is key on this. The nose was a little thicker so it might take a little bit more to dry. Uh oh, I lost some there. There you go. Until I didn't let that part dry quite enough. It's still a little pasty. All right, 
folks, I rinsed off my face with some water. It feels real smooth here. Like you can notice, if you've never done this before, you will notice your skin feeling smoother in the areas you did it. Your pores will look less clogged up close. Um, anyone who tells you, oh, it hurts, it hurts. You see those videos where people are like, oh, blackhead masks hurt. It's because they're doing them wrong. They clean their skin too much, dry their skin too much, and then try to peel it off dry skin. You want to have a little bit of, you know, just whether it's sweaty or you want to, don't just wash your face immediately before with soap and water or else it's going to be pulling off dry skin. You can tell my eyes didn't get watered up or anything. You know, there is a little bit of redness where I scrubbed my face, but um, doesn't hurt, easy to use, and um, we'll put an Amazon link in the description below. My advice is give it a full 45 minutes. Um, use it every couple weeks. Use it with um, warm skin, a little bit um, not super dry skin, and, and you'll be fine. It'll be great, and you will notice a difference in your skin. Thanks for watching. I'm Adam, 911 Reviews. Click subscribe and the bell for notifications. Adios, amigos.